Hello, this presentation demonstrates the solving of Rubik's Cube using a PDDL planner. We introduce the first PDDL formulation for the three-dimensional Rubik's Cube and solve it with an off-the-shelf fast downward planner. A plan executor and visualizer is also integrated into the system to show step-by-step -step solving of a Rubik's Cube. Our system is intended for two audiences. One, planning researchers who can explore a hard problem and two, Rubik's Cube learners wanting to learn how to solve the puzzle at their own pace. Now, let us all have a quick refresher on the Rubik's Cube. Each 3x3x3 three cross three cross three Rubik's Cube has three horizontal layers, top layer, middle layer and bottom layer. Each flat surface of the cube is considered a face and each face has a different color. Hence, consisting of six faces with six different colors that are white, red, blue, green, orange and yellow. Each different cube face is represented by a letter and those letters are used to define the clockwise and counterclockwise moves for those faces. The faces and their corresponding letter representations are U for the up face, D for the down face, L for the left face, R for the right face, F for the front face and B for the back face. For representing the complex Rubik's Cube puzzle in PDDL, we have encoded it by considering the colors on the pieces as the three-dimensional axis variables. The different pieces of the cube, that is corner piece and edge piece, are encoded in the PDDL as parameters with the colors of the piece in a state as variables of the parameters. A PDDL action is modeled for every state change which causes an effect of changing the color variables for those specific cube pieces. The PDDL domain which has been constructed forms the basis of our system which consists of a plan generator and a visualizer to better understand the step-by-step -step solving of a Rubik's Cube for a given configuration. Our system offers two different functionalities. The first one is for the users who have modeled a problem file for a given Rubik's Cube configuration and wish to generate and visualize the resulting plan. For the other users who just wish to visualize the plan from a scrambled Rubik's Cube configuration can directly input the generated plan and the corresponding problem file in order to visualize the solving of the Rubik's Cube. This approach differs from the first one in a way that there is no explicit planner invocation involved. Now let us look at the working of our system for case 1. In our demo, we have made use of the fast downward planner. The input arguments are the planner path along with the PDDL problem file. Once the solution is found, the visualizer is automatically invoked and the user can click solve to see the steps performed in order to reach the goal state. Let us now look at the working of the system for case 2. The required input arguments for this case are the problem and plan files. The problem file helps the system in configuring the visualizer with the initial Rubik's Cube state. The visualizer shows step-by-step -step solving of the Rubik's Cube based on actions given in the plan file. This brings us to the end of our system demonstration. Feel free to contact any of the authors with your doubts or suggestions. Thank you.